Alright guys, we are back at it with some more Sora Online Accession Rising Steel. And in today's video, we're actually going to be summoning for the new t -set that came out quite a while ago. But the reason I didn't um, upload a video on it yet was because when she came out, there was no new event that came out with her. So I wanted to see if they were going to surprise us with something special. And of course they did. And before we get to the summons, um... They just released this brand new like crossover campaign going on right now with the other mobile SAO games such as Memory Defrag as well as Integral Factor where each game will basically have a Kobold Lord boss and basically um, every time we defeat them the points get or like the defeats get accumulated between all versions together and at the end of the, the event period when we have like a certain amount of defeats, we get a certain amount of rewards. So if you make sure you guys be doing this because this benefits you and everyone else. So and I had to grind this like three times because I do play Rising Steel, Memory Defry, and I started getting into Integral Factor. So there's three grinds I have to do. So some of the rewards we can see here, if we get like a hundred thousand defeats. Um, we get some of these XP miracles. Um, we get twenty-five thousand. I mean, uh, two hundred fifty thousand. We get ten of the roses and some legendary material. And four hundred thousand. We get twenty-five diamond cubes as well as um, ten golden tickets. And that's pretty good actually, because what they actually did here too was um, they added a bunch of bonus characters. Um, as you guys can see here, we got the new 80s administrator, the new T set that just came out, as well as some of the older characters such as this um, water element silica, this mermaid mode um, uh, Elizabeth, we got the dual wheel Kirito, we got this old um, wind element Asuna, and then we got some of the anniversary units with progressive Asuna as well as the new dual, dual wielding Kirito. And all these are basically, uh, what you may call it, bonus characters. And then up here, you guys can see that we uh, one of the things we can actually get from the event are these evolution crystals for Asuna, which means that we're going to get a new Asuna soon. And for sure, it is already confirmed because on the live stream they did, um, they teased the art for a new um, dual banner with new non-elemental Kirito and Asuna coming soon. So we're going to be getting that next week. As well as a new ranking event. Which is I believe the new ranking event character is going to be a Silica as well. So yeah. Um, stay, stay tuned for that. And then alongside um, that. We also got a, this new banner here. With the crossover celebration. And basically all those bonus characters that you see there. Except for like the three newer ones so administrator 80s and t say they're not going to be on this banner but all the other characters are so i don't know if i should go in there because i'm only missing one of them and it's a dark element kirito so i'm still in debate depending on how these t say summons go i'll determine if i go in or not so before we start let's just do this trash single right here because we're not going to get nothing here I can 100% guarantee and let's hope for the best last last week a administrator took me all seven multis so hopefully TSA is not the same journey because I I didn't do the weapons really I think I did one summon on the weapons and none of the mental weapons I what is she again she's a sword I believe uh, yeah, I'm pretty sure she's a sword and non-elemental swords. I'm pretty stacked on so I Don't really need it. But of course before we go in we gotta see the attack animation So let's check it out and then we're gonna start summoning
Uh, we got the girl Tise there with uh, a lot of uh, wind elements going around. She creating her own tornadoes now. She's a true goddess. And hopefully we can pull her. So first multi look, let's go. Let's get her in the first multi. Let's go, operator. Do your thing. If I don't pull her, um, it will be a bummer because she's actually a really good unit. I did not go over her details yet, but uh, over um, just taking a quick glimpse, um, she's an assault, um, charge and break skill character, which just off the bat right there, she's very usable. Skip this. Yep, we got a lot of three stars though. All right, we take that. But um. Yeah, just like that, she's very usable because you can, she's basically like, with that skill set, she's guaranteed to always be on the team, no matter what, because um, every time you're going to an event, you always got to see what charge characters you have, what break characters you can take into. So just seeing that is actually pretty good. And then, in terms of the other stuff, um, uh, I don't think I remember going through... <clears throat> through her uh, details let me see if I could pull them up real quick now let's just go through this multi slowly we're getting a lot of 3 stars though I'm not gonna lie look 4 3 stars in a row 5 let's go 6 right here nope operator had to come I, I'm pretty sure we're not going to get nothing here. That's a lot of 3 stars, I'm not going to lie. This all almost became a full 3 star multi. <laughs> Literally, it was like 8. 8 of them. Look. Look at that. Beautiful. It is 8 of them. Alright, let's just keep going. Third multi. All right. We got the big orbs. Um, nothing happened though, so I don't think we're gonna. Oh, fake outdoor. Okay, we're we're, we're getting a four star here. Alright, we're getting something here at least. If it's T say I might just stop here. I don't know. It's cause uh usually in dual banners I struggle more to get the both the units so because usually I have to go back into the pickup banners. So knowing that that's gonna come up basically next week, um I'm trying to save as many cubes as possible by then. Oh we got her, okay. <sighs> Okay, T say was done and easy. Third multi, okay. And also another thing about this banner is um it's not your typical um like banner where like for example we can take the 80s banner. Um she's a win element character, so all the other win element characters have basically all a rate up over all the other four stars in the game. But you would expect this banner to be like all non-elemental characters have a rate up, but it, it's not like that. Um, this banner is all T says have a rate up. And aside from this T say, um, I'm not missing any other T say. I believe the only other T says I would think of be I'd be missing would be the ranking event ones. And of course, um, as of right now, there is no possible way of getting them. So we're done right here. So let's switch over to weapons and hopefully I get lucky. I could I actually switch into this as well. We'll see, we'll see. Alright, so we're looking for Pantera, Rapier, R4. And we got the Shine. Nothing too special here. You can probably skip this. Yep. 
All right. Come on. Oh, okay. We're getting we're getting a four star here. If it's your weapon, um, I might as well just jump into administer. That's your weapon. <laughs> okay. Oh, it isn't some insane luck. Before this, I recorded um my summoning video for memory defrag because they have around their four year anniversary right now, and they have like a new administrator. Which if you guys haven't checked it out or you're interested, go check it out. But we had some insane luck over there as well. And basically, we pulled the new unit. What is this? Step two and step three. Um, I might as well just jump into this one and see if we can get lucky. Um, hopefully we get lucky. <laughs> oh, imagine if this is a sword, a rapier. That would be insane if this is a rapier. I'm not gonna lie. Okay. Come on. I let, let this be her rapier so I can save. What, what I have? 500 something cubes left? Come on. Ooh. Come on, come on, come on. Okay, I'm kind of I'm kind of nervous. Come on. I feel it, but then again, I don't feel it. Oh, it's going to be the next one. I'm pretty sure this is like the 10th one. Next one? Nope. Okay. And... Uh, nope, it's uh... Osman Thais. Oh... Uh, that was rough. Oh, I really got my hopes up right there. I'm pretty sure that... Is that sword maxed out now? I think that sword maxed out now, actually. Um, let's just keep going. Oh, come on, come on. We nothing, no, no animation here. Rip. This, we're in the guaranteed now, so. If this is it, I'm going to stop here. And save whatever cubes I have. We should actually... Mm, I, don't, I haven't checked how much cubes, because... That new event is actually a powerful enemy event, which they rarely come out, but when they do, they have a lot of good rewards. You can actually get mm, what's it called a uh, diamond cubes and from like scene shop as well. So, I mean, there's gonna be options to get more, right? So, I'm not really worried about getting more diamond cubes. So, Come on, we're looking for a rapier with some roses on it. I don't even check what name it was. Uh, after this, we're actually gonna look at the um, TSA's details. Really quick, we're just gonna take a quick glimpse. Cause I, I remember reading it, but I just don't remember off the top of my head like what she does exactly. Cause she had, she had some pretty long uh, skills effects, so. Oh no, this is the wrong one. I don't even know who's, whose rapier is this. Dark element. Is this already no skills? Um, oh, what's her name? Asuna? Ugh. We won't have enough to do this step 7. So, what we're gonna actually do is. Uh, um, Alright. So what I'm actually going to do is on Saturday, I'm probably going to come back and actually do some of these tickets that I have right here. Because I have a lot. Like, I have those and then I have like over 100 on these. So we're going to probably come back, do some ticket summons, and then do step 6 and 7 on the administrative weapon. And think about going into the crossover um, banner just to... It's because this is a very high chance, right? And it's also set 3 guaranteed 4 stars, so. And it's a high chance to get uh, the Dark Element Kirito. So, I'll, I'll think about going to that banner. But, 
before we end off here, uh, we're gonna actually, whoop, wrong button. We're actually gonna look at Tita's details real quick, and she does have a active link like all these new characters have, right? Or does she? Mm, it doesn't say anything about a new active link. Oh yeah, okay, right here. Yeah, she has it with Yu-Gi-Oh. So it's pretty strange because you know it's a Moon Cradle Tisei, but Yuji is not even in the Moon Cradle series, so it's kind of iffy right there. But it is what it is. I mean, they'll make it work somehow, right? So let's look at her stats real quick. She has basically what's the normal stats nowadays for the attack: twenty three forty. Her magic attack is pretty low, of course. Speed is pretty low, three thirteen. Could be a little bit higher. She does have really high crit though. Um, but yeah, let's go into what her skills do, and like I said, they're pretty lengthy. So she, like I said, she uses charge, assault, and break character, and her assault, assault raises the recollection field gauge as well. So her charge is a, is a thrust attack that's strong on a single enemy, lowers physical resist by 20% for one turn, and increases incarnate charge by when enemies are inflicted with continuous damage in current charge wait there's a tongue twist right there um so she she increased her incarnate charge more when her enemy is inflicted with continuous damage and incarnate charge is 20 percent so that's very helpful right there um because yeah her assault in inflicts continuous damage so you're gonna be seeing a difference in your charge most of the time. Uh, it's extra strong in a, in a single enemy, and it raises your collection field for non-elemental for one, and deals added damage to enemies inflicted with continuous damage. Oh, okay, never mind. She doesn't inflict; she does more damage. Uh, okay, the break is where she inflicts non-elemental continuous damage for two turns. It's a thrust attack medium on a single enemy. And then incarnate breaks by 40%. Not the normal, which is 50%, but at least she it does a little bit extra, right? And it's also medium, so it does less damage. And her incarnate skill is Vortex Pierce level 2, which is an incarnate thrust attack on a single enemy. Recollection field non-elemental for by 1. Uh, deals added damage. On enemies inflicted with continuous damage, damage increase when recollection field gauge is step 3 or more, which I always state that's um, very difficult to get sometimes. But we're seeing a lot of new characters raise the recollection field by a lot, is doing a lot, right? Like we've seen it with Administrator, where just by going into an enhanced one, she raises it by one, and when she attacks, she raises it by another one. So. They're making it easier to get that, but it's still pretty tedious to get sometimes. And then of course, if you get a dupe, which we did not get, but if you do, um, it increases charge by 10% versus non-elemental enemies when using a charge skill. So overall, she's a really, really good character to have, especially for non-elemental because uh, their roster is pretty old at this point. Um, the only newer characters I could think of were the anniversary characters, which were Yu-Gi-Oh! and uh, who was it? Alice? But other than that, the characters are in there are pretty like five to six months old at this point. So, of course, for a newer buff is always helpful for this team. But yeah, guys, that's pretty much it for today's video. If you liked it, then consider going out there and hitting that like button as well as subscribing for more content just like this. I will be coming back and recording the powerful event, which should be out by now. Yeah, it's right there. So I will be making a video on that as well as, like I said, coming back doing some tickets. I will also be doing a video on that event, but over on Memory Defrag and maybe on Integral Factor. But I don't know because that account is still very weak. And I don't think it's on part to do, um, to even do the event. So I'll for sure get on there right 
right and try to get the rewards as well so it is where it is and as always guys thank you guys for watching if you guys are interested in more videos there should be some on the screen so make sure to check that out but yeah i appreciate you guys for watching and i'll see you in the next one peace out